Ah, uh, this is so wrong. Look, it's just like solid lube in the spring. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's lost its responsiveness for sure. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna to be doing a little test to see exactly what happens when you over lube your mechanical keyboard switches. Now, I'm fairly new to lubing switches. As a matter of fact, I just made my very first custom keyboard not too long ago. So when looking up tutorials on how to properly lube my switches, almost every video said the same thing, and that was to not over lube them. And so, of course, that got me thinking, what exactly does happen when you over lube a mechanical switch? So today, I'm gonna to be taking a couple of switches, lubing each one a little bit more than the last, then throw them in this keyboard and see what the difference is. And you know, I want to have fun with this video, so for our last switch, I'm going to be sure to completely just fill it to the brim with lube. So today we're going to be using Glorious Link switches, which are linears. And since we're going to be comparing all of these, I'm just going to start with a dry unlube switch and throw that in there first. So there we go. And then let's pop this one open. So for this switch, I'm gonna do a very small amount of lube, which is actually what's recommended by most tutorials. So I'm gonna take a very small amount of lube, evenly spread it between the two sides. And then without adding any more, I'm just gonna to touch on the spring where it makes contact with the stem. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more for the spring and I'll apply it to the inside and outside of the ends, get a little more and add it to the other side. Then the spring and the bottom are done. And now for our entire stem, I'm only gonna be using that much lube. I'm gonna start with the sides and then just kind of even out throughout the rest of the stem, making sure to get all the sides. Then of course we'll get the legs, brush around this inner stem, and then just a little bit on the bottom of the stem and we're all done. Let's put that one back together. And there we go, one lube switch per the book. And for this next switch, I'm gonna be doing a little bit more lube. This is how I like to do mine. So for the bottom housing and the spring, it's gonna be pretty much the same as the last switch. But for the stem, I'm gonna add a little bit more lube. So for the amount of lube that we used on the last stem, I used that much just on this one side. And basically, I just wanna be able to look in the light and see the lube on there. You know, I'm not trying to cake it on or anything, but I wanna be able to see it. So I'm gonna do the same for the other side. And I'm gonna go in a third time for more lube for the front and back. Make sure to get the legs. Then of course, get the stem. And yeah, basically I wanna be able to see the lube on each face. And again, this is just my personal preference. So this switch is all done. And personally, I wouldn't do any more lube than this, but of course today we're gonna to do a lot more and see what happens. All right, so for this switch, I'm just gonna act like I don't know what I'm doing and nobody ever told me not to over lube a switch. Maybe we'll put enough that we could actually see a little bit of the white there, not just the clear. You know what, let's dip again for the other side. There we go. Let's put a bunch in the middle here, put more on the spring than we usually would. All right, I think that's good. You know what, let's just try to lube the entire spring, not just the ends. And then for the stem, let's pretend like we're frosting a cake. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> and yeah, I've never put this much lube on a stem before. And you can like see it trying to seep out of the top there. There's so much. All right, so I think this is gonna be our final switch. And the question I'm asking myself is, how much lube can I physically put in here? Look at all that lube. Here we go. Let's goop it all in there. Man, I thought this would be fun to do, but this just feels wrong. Let's make this bottom housing just like a pool of lube. Ah, uh, this is so wrong. Like, I wonder if this switch is even gonna come back up after you press it. You know what? I'm not even gonna use the brush on the spring. Oh my God, just swirl it around in there. Ah, oh, that's, <laughs> it's so wrong. That is one loop spring. Will it even go, oh no. <laughs> Look, it's just like solid lube in the spring. Do I really have to lube the stem at this point? There's already so much in there. Oh yeah, just a small dab. Mm-hmm, just get it all on there. So here goes the stem. And I'm pretty sure at this point that some of this lube is gonna come gushing out when I close this. Hold on, I put this on backwards. Here we go. Look at this huge bead of lube at the bottom just waiting to fall into your keyboard. Here, if I press it, will it come out? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Did you hear that sound? All right, well, let me just 
take this out so it doesn't destroy my keyboard. And there's our last one. I hope it doesn't mess up my board. All right, so let's test these and see not only how they sound, but also how they feel. So first with no keycaps, this is the dry switch. And it feels fairly smooth for an unlube switch. Next is our lightly lube switch. And I can already hear a sound difference between the two and it is quite a bit smoother. And the next one has a little bit more lube, but still within reason. And of course this one feels buttery smooth. And now for the first over lube switch. It's like you can kind of hear the lube making noise in there. You're not just hearing switch noises. And it does feel a little bit different than the last one. I don't know. If it's losing any of its response, it's just a little bit still. And then finally, the over-the-top one over here. <laughs> yeah, that's lost its responsiveness for sure. <laughs> All right, well, let's put keycaps on them. Eh. <laughs> All right, so now with keycaps, unlubed. Lightly lubed. A little bit more lube over lubed and extremely over lubed <laughs> so i guess the real question is obviously this one is way overdone but does this over lubed one uh sound or feel any worse than these others i mean honestly this one doesn't feel bad but it is a little bit slower to respond than the other three switches. But I mean, really, it doesn't feel too bad and it doesn't sound too bad either. And yeah, some of the main reasons why you even unlube a switch is to make it sound and feel better than a unlube switch. And so adding a little bit can make it sound nice and make it feel real buttery. And then of course, if you add too much, then your over lube switch is gonna be less responsive than your dry switch. So yeah, when it comes to lubing switches, in the end, it's all personal preference. You could use as much or as little as you want. And yeah, I've heard some people say that they like to over lube their switches a little bit like this one, and they like how it feels and sounds and they don't mind the trade-off having to be a little less responsive. So yeah, lube them how you like them. You know, maybe lube a couple different switches and see how they feel. And I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. It was fun for me to make. Don't forget to leave a like and thank you all for watching.